As you well know by the thumbnail, it's an Acer video, and we've got a laptop for you today, not a Chromebook, because I, I really like Chromebooks. Now this is all right. Here's a laptop, and uh, actually saying that, this laptop, I think it's going for $349.99, in the link in the description down below. I'm selling it already, because it's quite a decent laptop. This is a Spire 3 laptop, and uh, it's got, um, what is this, Obsidian Black, so this is the whole chassis that it looks in. It's got it's a full 1920 by 1080 resolution aspect, 15.6 screen. Um, just gonna sign in so we can have a look at all of this. Um, yeah, it's got a Core i3 6006U CPU processor, four gigs of DDR4 RAM, and it's got Intel graphics which are 520 as well, so that is pretty decent, you can watch 4K if you connect this to uh, a TV as well. On the site, we have a HDMI 1920x1080 uh, resolution at 30 hertz connection. Um, we've got internet, um, which is for a solid connection, so you can plug that in and it will lock it in so it doesn't come out. Kizit and lock, USB 3 up to 5 gigabits per second, SD card, mini SD card can go in there as well. On this side we've got LED light indicator for battery and also we've got a light for Bluetooth, um, is that Bluetooth? I'll check that out later, I'm not too sure what that other light's for, but um, oh is that for my battery? Might be for my battery. Got a DC connector as well to obviously uh, plug in your um, laptop, keep it nice and charged. And we've got two USB 2s, and then we also got a 3.5mm jack connector as well. Got chiplet keys on the actual laptop itself, which it feels okay. It doesn't feel super nice, but it feels okay. It feels like when you're actually hitting your fingers on the bottom, it does bottom out and you will feel it at the bottom. But other than that, it's still quite a decent CPU. I mean, decent laptop, a decent keyboard, I should say, full-size keyboard. Um, it's got a big trackpad, but not super massive. Uh, the screen's all right, but at this, red, at this, me looking at this side, it's kind of like it's bland down there, and it kind of grady, grades itself to like a sharper point where I'm looking at. If I look at it bang on, it's okay. If I look at it from down here, it looks brighter and a little bit darker at the top, but that's all to do with the screen. One thing I do have to clear up on, I really don't like the webcam. For 2018, this laptop's camera is pathetic. Um, it's pathetic in video and pathetic as a webcam. If you're going to use this as business or any like speaking to your friends, it's not going to feel the great experience right there. So that's one thing I would definitely get out of the way straight away. But anything everywhere looks kind of easy to use, like all the keys and everything like that. Your F keys, your plus and minus, your volume and your media controls. They're all nicely there. You can use this for um, all your work applications like Illustrator, uh, After Effects, but only very, very, very small After Effects. Any 3D stuff like that will kill this computer off. This hasn't got a dedicated graphics card. Obviously the graphics card is um, built in and used in um, with other memory. So if you're using, um, say, you've got a desktop computer and you've got six gigs of RAM, uh, or 16 gigs of RAM, and then you're using Google to like use like your, your websites, whatever, and whatever, to do with websites. And Google takes a lot of uh, obviously memory from that, and then it's memory that needs to have like working in the background of your computer. So if you say using um, 
Premiere Pro, like editing video software, what it will do is it will compensate and take some of that memory and share it with other things that are going on and then what you actually need to make your computer really fast is the memory it's going to take. Now this laptop can do light things because the majority of things is more like a mobile based thing. So if you've got apps and you want to use like Adobe like certain projects or products, so like Photoshop, um, a little bit of Illustrator, and then you come back and use it as a computer, you can do that. But this is for that price, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, so if you're into speed and that, then this laptop's not gonna be for you. But other than talking about speed, it has got an SSD in it as well. But um, it's 128 gig SSD, so you'll be able to go fast, backwards and forwards, but not as fast as you think, because when you're looking at companies and you're thinking, oh, this computer's got SSD, but the price is not that bad. When you look at different CPUs and high um, speed of RAM, that's when SSD utilizes all of that. So technically SSD, if you do a read and write speed, you'll find that kind of like speeds. But it's got SD card reader, so it ain't gonna be faster than an external. It's just basically like a convenience store. So if you go into a convenience store, things are gonna be more priced higher than what it would be in a normal shop, but you're still getting value because you're getting everything in one place at that right one time that everything's shut. So that's what that's like. But yeah, this is a Core i3 CPU. Um, it's got a blue light shield on it as well, so good for reading and looking at videos and stuff. Got your normal internet as well, AC, so 80.2 if I remember, 11 AC, yeah. DDR4 memory on here, which is nice to know. In fact, I'm gonna check something on here real quick, just to make sure that I've actually got the right one that I'm actually talking about. This does come pre-loaded with stuff, which I'm gonna talk to you about as well, because that's the annoying thing. It's like, reviewers have been t telling like these companies for years, please don't bloat, like get loads of bloatware onto a computer, because it just slows it down. It's so annoying. Yeah, it has got a lot of bloatware on it. So when you get this, you can take that off your 128 gig uh, SSD. To be honest with you, we should start charging companies tax to put bloatware on the computers that we buy. That would make a lot of sense. <laughs> right, so yeah, it's got a lot of bloatware on there. And then I'm gonna go into these settings and make sure that this is the right laptop I'm talking about, which it should be. Right, so this laptop also has Windows 10 Home as well, so if you need to do remote access and stuff like that, this laptop's not going to be able to be compatible with it, unless you update your uh, your software, which will be your operating system. Yeah, so this has got 2 gig um, two gigahertz of uh, CPU power, um, and obviously it's quite free, so it's like 6th generation, so it'd be Skylake, so it's probably acting like it's got 2 cores but technically it's got four cores, so it's like quad core CPU, so you can do four things at once, two virtual cores, two normal cores. At the moment it's saying I'm running at 199, but it's got four gigabytes of DDR4 in it, uh, 3.8 is usable at the moment, but I've only just got it switched on. 64-bit operating system, as you do, so you can do your other applications, which is good. Um, what else has it got on there, if I remember rightly? You can do networking and all that sort of stuff and use it as a server and stuff like that, but technically not really worth it. But if you want to, you can do loads of things with it. But the main thing about this actual laptop selling point is the price. Now, if I'm gonna go into Amazon, because I did see it, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below of where you can actually purchase this laptop. Uh, so you just click on the link and take it straight there. The normal price of this laptop was $429.99 and now is it's $349.97. So you save £80 and 2p, which is quite good. So I don't there is different versions of this. This is just one version of Acer. It does it is quite plasticky and stuff like that. You can upgrade um, your memory in there and put more memory. The cooling parts are right here where the copper plate is and where your graphics card will be. And this is where your SSD will be. And this is where your battery is. You can take that out, so that's not too bad. It does have some rubber feet. It's got a big rubber feet, actually. Big rubber foot and two, three rubber feet at the bottom. So make sure it doesn't scrap, scratch the um, surface. Laptop feels good. Doesn't feel terrible, like hot on your lap or anything like that. 
And it's just got this all little unique design. So an Acer Aspire at the top there. And this is where it will dissipate heat at the back, which is quite weird. But then again, it's a low powered um, laptop. So if you're looking for a really powerful, hungry laptops, search elsewhere for Acer's more powerful laptops. Uh, if you just want this as a student, and you want to do things like do uh, use Microsoft stuff like emails, uh, Excel, and doing like things with Illustrator and stuff like that. Forget about Cinema 4D and 3D renders or anything like that. It will just kill this computer. It doesn't have an embedded. Uh, it has an embedded graphics card, not a dedicated separate graphics card. So, but it has got the top graphics card, and it's weird that you can use it on the TV and get 4K resolution and everything like that, and it runs really well. But when it comes down to doing like business operations, it doesn't work as well. And the good thing about it, it does have two actually, it's only got two USBs, so you can plug in an extra keyboard and mouse, and then you've got one spare for your phone. So, technically, it would be good if you're going to buy this laptop to get an extender, but the laptop's not that heavy as well. It's quite light. You could use this to like watch films on and all that sort of stuff, but it's not the best list, not the best. Uh, experience because of obviously how the screen is it's kind of um, you, when you got a perfect screen when you're watching a TV and you spend a lot of money with it the screen is backlight blacks and whites and all those heavily colors that are in the background or the RGB I should say because black and white is not really a color but blacks that show up darker for shadowing and the whites that bring the color and make it brighter and vivid is the one where you can move to left, move to right, up and down, and you will get perfect like vision from it. With this screen, if you move to left, to right, up and down, you start to get dark uh, spots and shadows. But it all reflects on the price. Now you can upgrade this and make it a little bit faster, but it's only going to give you an extra 10% boost if you go with obviously buying DDR4, which you need to. You got 16 gig of RAM. It will only give you an extra boost, 10%, because the CPU is low powered and it's a dedicated. Graph, it's not a dedicated graphics card, so everything is going to be nicking the memory that you're putting in more in, and plus using the web pages. You can cancel the web pages, but then it makes the experience not very nice when using a laptop. Anyway, link in the description down below. Any more questions about this laptop, hit me up down in the comments below. Follow me on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, more social media. And obviously, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hello and welcome. My name is Roger, and I like to talk about technical things and technology and in this video actually not in this video but in more videos to come I'm going to be talking about software and after you built a water cooled computer or not a water cooled computer or just built a computer and you want it for work we're going to be talking about how we can take that computer put an operating system on make sure you got all the updates on there make sure that it's safe from any malicious uh, threats on the net and how you can start to work and use it and how to maintain it make it faster and what keyboard to buy what mouse to buy how to just utilize things if you're a gamer if you're not a gamer if you're a worker that sort of thing anyway i'm out Psh.